So if we're looking at other aspects of how we manage and facilitate our sports, we need to look at the four P's of marketing and the relationship to sport for development of our program. So it's uh, product, you know, what we're offering, price, what we're offering at, uh, promotion, so how are we really getting it out there, and then place, so where is it going to happen at? So, um, and, and there's a whole realm of mar you know, marketing and sport marketing that we're not going to dive into here, but you got to think about those aspects, and sometimes it's important just to list them out and see where you fall within each one. We think about our resources, as far as human resources go, what staff do we need to recruit, recruit train, uh, retain, um, and hire on. So talking about everything from managing the, uh, what I would call the front end, you know, like the uh, registration and scheduling of both teams, players, employees, um, all the way to the uh, very front st frontline staff. These are the people that are being umpires, referees, coaches, vending, all that kind of stuff. Right. We have to think about the media and uh, how we're going to, you know, get the PR out there. So you think about like whether that's fundraising and growth of your program. Um, so if you think about like a youth soccer team, right, is how are we going to get it to where it may be cost effective for a lot of our participants? You know, uh, these, these programs aren't cheap to put on. And if we can get some offset costs for fundraising, that'd be great. But also think about how we're going to market that. You know, so we have a youth, youth sports program of some sort, right? What, what's the best way to get that, in, that information into the hands of the people that are most likely to participate? Okay, so before we conclude here, um, I want to I want to end with a question, and this is something you can think about um, as you move forward with the course and forward with your career. And what do you think you learned from your sport experiences, right? Um, what elements of the sport experience cause you to learn from those different outcomes, right? Um, whatever that may be. And so think about that. If you had a magic wand, right, how would you change the sport experiences? And would that leave you the same? And so I'll give you a quick example is I really enjoyed playing baseball uh, as a kid. And, um, you know, for the first few years of my life, um, I was really ahead of everybody else playing baseball. Not my life, my you know my t-ball years and whatnot, my little league. Um, so I felt you know like then I can play almost any position and do well. I did well as far as you know uh, offense versus defense on both sides of the ball. Um, so there, there really was I really was doing. Um, I felt good about myself. I felt good about my participation. And then all of a sudden, a lot of people started hitting growth spurts. And so, um, while I had, you know, had already had a somewhat of a growth spurt, a lot of these, uh, you know, my peers hit growth spurts and continued, you know, shooting way past me as far as height goes. And so, uh, you know, they got much better at certain positions and I kind of did not, um, based on, based on some of that, right? The other part of it is, uh, we had a life change in my life where I took a year and a half, two years off from playing any sports because of some situations we were in. And that dramatically decreased my uh, ability as well. So not only did I probably lose some ability within the sport, but while others were advancing, I wasn't. So when I tried to get back into baseball, um, it took me a while just to get up to what I would call up to what I expected myself to be. Um, but the other part of it is, is I, I just never got to the point where I was as good as some other folks that had continued their involvement and, you know, uh, not had that break in involvement as well. So, and I think about that, right? It's like, what did I learn from that? Um, you know, there's things about, I learned like, you know, you, you can get back in, right? So no matter how long you've been out, if you enjoy it, you get back in and have some enjoyment out of it, because I did. Uh, but I also learned that, you know, there, there's commitment to certain things that plays out. Like if you're committed to something and you stay with it for a long period of time, you are going to get better. Uh, now, there's people that are naturally gifted and can do whatever they uh, want almost, you know, I still believe that, uh, you know, some people just can step into a sport and do really well at it. But so I learned a lot about that. And I think about if that hadn't, if that hadn't been the case, well, how, how would I be different? 
would there be any different? I don't think uh, body type and height and all that would change much about my situation, but I might have progressed a little bit faster or further just from the fact that I didn't take a break. So anyway, consider that as we move forward and you think about your socialization and your outcomes with your sport uh, experiences.